I just want to share some reminders that I've got to remind myself with every year as we get into concert season. Uh, the number one be the number one thing being, uh, <laughs> sorry, our cat is wanting to be part of the video. Number one, stop humming from the podium. As we're working through a song, uh, it's very easy to try to help out the, the trumpets or help out the low brass. And it's usually a brass part section, right? You want to uh, help them out with a pitch reference. It's great when the song is pretty fresh, but when you've been playing it for a little bit, you want to see how much of that they can really achieve on their own without you spoon feeding, spoon feeding it to them. So you want to take the training wheels off and stop humming, okay? All right, the second thing is stop staying on the podium. Get off the podium uh, and listen to the band from different vantage points. It's just like your judges will be sitting around in the auditorium. They'll be spread out, not just in one spot. So you want to hear what things sound like from different directions uh, so you can adjust accordingly. Uh, I, I had a friend of mine a long time ago. Uh, they had a restroom next to their band hall, and he would go in there and listen to it. And the way the, the, the sound filtered in through the wall into the restroom, he was able to kind of detect some different things that he was not hearing in the rehearsal. So uh, please get off the podium. Stop staying on the podium the entire time. All right, number three, stop assuming you're going to have the kids every day of instruction because you're going to have testing days. You're going to have bad weather days. Uh, you may be gone to a convention or something like that. You may have days where you have a, a, a pep rally for the basketball team. The, all those things are great, uh, but they're going to take away from time that you may have had. So definitely factor that into, into your programming. Uh, don't pick songs because they're, they're the songs that you like or that's a new on the list. You got to pick songs that you can uh, get the kids to be able to play well within the time frame that you have. But make sure you factor in those days that you will not have the kids especially on my small school friends that uh, the spring is nuts. We just know that you were, you're not going to have your kids every day. Uh, so please uh, don't forget that. And also don't forget to check on their grades. Uh, the last thing you want to do is have to rewrite parts or redistribute them uh, within your section because somebody couldn't pass math or something like that. All right, number four, stop being the only person that listens to your band. And I know that budgets are a thing. It's really hard to get somebody to come out uh, and be able to compensate them with what they deserve. Or uh, even maybe you're out in the middle of nowhere and it's really hard to get somebody to come out because it's like an hour drive to your school. Um, I encourage you, number one, record your band so you can listen to it. But also maybe you can share those recordings with somebody else. But if you can set up some sort of tradesy uh, with a neighboring director where they come and listen to your band and you go to listen to theirs, you kind of exchange that service. Uh, there's nothing like having somebody in the room, uh, and even if they're not working with your band, just having somebody else in the room, the kids will respond to that a little bit differently. Make sure you develop that relationship with neighboring directors, uh, because sometimes they're the ones that save you in, in, a, in a pinch. All right, number five, stop ignoring your percussion, okay? Um, I've judged bands before, and, and it breaks my heart because the band's doing all these other really good things, but man, that bass drummer just loves baseball swinging into the bass drum or something, you know, the, the, the snare drum is overplaying. You can't hear a lot of the good things that are happening because it's being covered up by percussion. And it's not always, uh, it's not always the volume. Um, sometimes it's other things too, the way they're playing, maybe they're playing a rhythm and, and it's not being articulated correctly on the timpani. So it's really muddying up the low brass, the low end of the entire band. Uh, and so you want to make sure that those things are being addressed um, from the beginning because those things, you know, they're not, oh, we'll go back and clean that up later on. You, you want to go ahead and stop, establish good habits and get them to do things the right way more often than they, they do things the wrong way. So don't ignore your percussion. Just give them things to do. Pick music that's going to be suitable for them to be able to stay busy and stay out of trouble. All right. Best of luck to you guys. Have a good one.